This one's on a script called Less Pipe. It's uh, basically a filter that I guess enhances you know the regular less command. So if you ever use the less command, it's basically a pager that you can view um, you know a block of text, and then you can scroll up and down all that. But with the less uh, pipe here, um, you can actually do this with other files. So I'm giving you an example here. It still binds it to you know the less command here, but um, you know, like I said, you can do it with other files. So, for example, if you want to do it for the dev files here, like this one here, you can actually uh, see what's inside it, you know, and then you can page up, page down to um, see the rest of it, right? Same thing with, let me see here, we got a tar file, tar.gz file here, right? And you can see like what's in the archives and um, look at it real quick. Um, the thing I like about this one, it actually does it with PDF files too. So if I have this, um, what is this one here? PDF. And basically, instead of opening it with a uh, GUI, you know, viewer or whatever, you can actually just use the less and it, it, it can see like all the text and stuff like that. So I like that one for convenience and stuff like that. Um, other things you can do. If you're using an image in here, it's not going to display the image. Like I have this Madagascar image here, right? But it's not going to display the image. It's going to display the metadata of it. So you can look at, oh, what's the resolution and all that crap. And um, something else. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, it works with ISOs too. So let me give you an ISO example here. So, for example, if I do less uh, index here, ISO. Right, it'll give you like I guess the metadata of that too, like when it was created and all that. Uh, so that's that. And uh, let me see here. Well, I'm giving you an example of something that doesn't work. So I have these MP3s here. Uh, normally it would work, but I'm not sure why it doesn't work with these ones. So if it doesn't work, you'll see something like this. Let me see here. I got this bison. Right, it'll give you like this. I don't know what the fuck it is. The matrix, okay, and it won't work. So it just depends. Like even sometimes with PDFs, dude, sometimes it doesn't work. So don't be, uh, you know, going crazy saying, "Oh, what the fuck, this don't work." So it doesn't work with everything, but uh, when it does work, is it's really useful. And scripts, okay. Let me go to scripts here. So for example, I have what is it here? Color available. Oh, it detects if you know using. Oh, this. Um, I think it, it detects by the extensions or maybe the uh, the header or whatever it is. But basically, I have this shell script here, right? And you see, it gives me color syntax highlighting and all that. So you can use that with uh, the less command. Um, and I think I have some Python here too. Let's see, Let's see the other one, Python. Right, and basically this gives you color syntax highlighting also. Uh, so that's basically what the less pipe command does. And how do you set this up? Well, let me give you an example here. Get out the man page here. Less pipe, I mean. And basically, it tells you what it supports here. So you can view, you know, gzip, uh, bzip2, and all these other crap that it does even uh, dev files and RPM files, right? And the bottom here, I think I have it. Uh, this one's for like, um, you know, your scripts or your programming, whatever the hell you're doing here. Well, it supports C, C++, um, HTML, you know, all that stuff for color syntax highlighting. So the thing that you wanna do if you wanna set this up, depending on what your distribution or your shell is, what the hell is that? Right, so let's say you're using uh, CSH or TCSH. You want to set your environment um, with this, okay? You want to add that to like, you know, either your your bash RC, ZSHRC, or whatever it is, but I'm not sure what the hell the, these other ones uses. But if you're using bash or ZSH, you want to use this one. And basically that will export, you know, to use your your script 
and the other one for syntax highlighting you want to use uh, the dash R right and so let me give you an example here of what I have um, so this one's CSH but you can use it for bash RC also and basically inside here depending on your distribution you don't have to set this up but um, if you're using like Ubuntu or something like that or Debian you probably have to do this manually so these are the two lines you need to export here right uh, I have it commented out because I don't really need it but um, basically you want to use less open and then um, point it to your script and this other one is for color syntax highlighting like for looking at scripts so that's it for this one um, get out of this here now if you want to use it normally so let's go back to our download folder here like uh, normally you use the less command it doesn't have any syntax highlighting or whatever it is you can do less and for example we have anything here let's say this um, text file here right you can do uh, was this the less sign or redirect it back into less and x defaults and basically that's the original less command that you would normally use to or you can do like um, cat um, x defaults and then you know pipe into the less command and that will give you the original way to do that too anyways that's it for this one